everyone, my name is Pranand Jadu from 4CSR and today I'm going to present my GNT project. It's called the Arctic Project. So what in the world is an Arctic Project? So an Arctic Project is when you build a structure in real life. It can be a skyscraper, it can be a school, it can be a hotel, it can be a supermarket, it can be a hypermarket, it can be anything which is good for human needs. So in this project, I'm supposed to make a school, as you can see here, I have a school. It's called Eastern School. And I have the 2D layout over here placed. And I have the 3D layout over here, made out of cardboard. So the thing is, I can't really just build the skyscraper in real life because that's the third step. I don't really have the money and we don't really need it right now. So I just went as far as making the model and the 2D layout. So you can see here that we have the 2D model over here. And we have the index. We have the details, quantity, and area given here. So now we're going to do the 2D model. We're going to see what is in here. We have the index over here, which has given the area, quantity, and details of all the objects which are in the layout or blueprint. Now I have the year 1, year 2, year 3, and year 4 classes, which all have quantity 4 and 48 meter square as their area. You can see that they're right here. The year 1, the year 2, the year 3, and the year 4 are all lined up. We have the year 5 classes, which have quantity 8 and 96 meter square as its area, which is over here. Then we have the PG1 and PG2, or Playground 1 and Playground 2 which both have one quantity and 60 meter square as their area. We can see that PG2 is here for the lower uh, years, and PG1 is there for the higher years. Then we have the nurse's office and ESL classrooms, which both have quantity one and 12 meter square as their area. They're here, they're close to each other. Then we have the library, just quantity one, 42 meter square as its area. It is over here. We have the canteen, quantity one, 150 meters square as its area. And it is the largest room, which is in this blueprint. It's over here. Then we have the head teacher's office, attendant's office, and secretary's office. These are all lined up over here, and they have all have the quantity of one and 12 meters square as their area. Then we have the enrichment classrooms, which have quantity 4 and 48 meters square as its area. We have four of them over here, as you can see. Then we have the computer lab, which is quantity 1, and 12 meters square is its area. It's over here. Now we have the resource classrooms, which have quantity 2 and 24 meters square as their area. Research classrooms are over here, and you can see that there are two. Then you have the reception classrooms, which have quantity 3 and 36 meters square as their area. The reception classrooms are right behind the reception desk. Now we have the reception desk, which has quantity 1 and 60 meters square as its area, which is over here, right in front of the guest room. Now we have the toilets, which have quantity 4 and 48 meters square as its area. If you say that one bathroom is one bathroom, we have six of them. But if you say that one bathroom is equal to one girl and one boy bathroom, there are four. So that's basically all of the index. So now I'm going to move on to seeing how this model looks like. We have mostly everything in here. We have the entrance floor. We have the entrance over here. We have the lobby over here. We have the chairs where the guests sit. We have the reception desk where people can assign their students in this new school. We have the stairs. We have the hallway, which leads us to the different classes. We have the year two classes over here. Year five classes over here. We have the offices over here. We have the canteen over here and the library over here. So I'm just gonna give you a little look around this school. So you can see there are windows. It's pretty logical to have windows in every uh, building because if you don't, you can't even see the back, uh, outside. 
and it will be pretty dull inside when it's night. You can see the fact that there's windows over here. See that there are some windows for the classes. We still have some windows over here. This is for every class, so it does make sense that we have so many windows. As you can see, there's a bridge here so that it prevents students from falling down from here and just for their safety. And now we're getting back to the front. Which is over here. So, I just rotated my model and I'm just gonna put it like this so you can see how it looks like. like this. Okay, so that's it for my model. Now I'm gonna see what the differences are from this layout or blueprint and this model. Like I've made them with the same logic and the same items, but I changed the place the I changed the placement of them and I changed like I changed the size of the reception desk. So I'm gonna explain the changes. The major difference you see here is that this is all one floor. There are no other floors, no other floors. But here in the model, you have two floors, the top floor and the ground floor. Now you see that the placing of the classrooms has been placed really, really differently. You have the year two classes here, the year five classes here, you have the offices over here, you have the year four classes over here. So there are, they're all placed randomly, but appropriately. So another difference you see here is that the playgrounds, you see the playground one and the playground two, they're placed together and in the layout or blueprint, you see that they're way apart. Like playground one is over, way over here and the playground two is way over here. Another difference is that in the toilets, as you see the toilets, they are longer in width. See, you have here four centimeters and here you have only three centimeters, which means it's longer by width. But here it's the same as the classes. Like the toilet is the same as the classes. The placement of the lobby is also changed. The lobby is supposed to be somewhere over here, over here, uh, from the entrance over here. It's supposed to be over here, but instead it's over here. And yeah, it's basically it, all the changes. So thank you for exploring my GNT project, and have a good day, bye.